Arrow Global are well known for sending multiple letters and making numerous calls when chasing debts. Like all debt collectors, they're not immune to occasionally stepping over the line or just being a little bit tough to deal with. But that doesn't mean that you can't get on top of your debt and stop Arrow Global chasing you. First things first, Arrow Global is a legitimate company. They're not a scam and they're not cowboys. But that doesn't mean it's going to be all sunshine and rainbows dealing with them. Whenever any debt collector contacts you, the first thing you want to make sure is that they can prove the debt is yours to pay. The burden of proof is on them, not you. So be ready to ask them to prove that you owe the debt. That should keep them off your back for a little while while you have time to work out how to move forward. If the debt is yours, then the simplest solution is to work out how to pay it. Agreeing a method to start paying back will normally keep Arrow Global from contacting you, assuming you stick to your agreement. Sadly, that's easier said than done, especially if you didn't know you had the debt in the first place. Luckily, you don't always have to pay all the debt back. If you're struggling financially, then there are options out there that could help. While these solutions aren't suitable for everyone, you might find one or two that could work well for you. I'll run through them quickly here. First up, debt management plans. They're an informal agreement that you made with the creditors to pay back your debts at a lower and more affordable rate. Normally, that means paying less each month but over a longer time frame. The catch is that you can't include all your debts in a debt management plan. Credit card debt, personal loans and an overdraft can all go in, but court fines and mortgages sadly can't be part of it. Next is debt relief orders. They freeze the debt payments for a full year. And then, if your situation hasn't changed after 12 months, the debt's written off. You make no payments towards the debt in 12 months and interest isn't added. Pretty good, right? Sadly, debt relief orders have a strict eligibility criteria. For example, you can't own anything of significant value like a house and you can't have more than £2,000 in savings. Another option is offering a final settlement. If you happen to have access to a large lump sum, you can offer that to Arrow Global or the creditors you work for. It might not be the full amount you owe, but sometimes they'll be willing to write off any remaining debt because you'll save them the time chasing you for payments each month. Unfortunately, getting your final settlement offer agreed might not be that simple and Arrow Global or your creditor could just simply refuse. Individual voluntary agreements are another way to deal with Arrow Global. It's a formal agreement between you and your creditors to reduce your payments to one simple payment each month. It lasts for five years and at the end, any remaining debts written off. Again, like with all these options, there are catches. IVAs are legally binding, so you need to keep up with the terms that you agree to. Otherwise, you could be back to square one with Arrow Global. But all the time it's in place, you shouldn't hear from Arrow Global. Bankruptcy is probably the most famous option. You may already know, but with bankruptcy, all your assets are reviewed and some may be sold off to pay back your debt. After a year, any remaining debt will be written off. Like with an IVA during your year of bankruptcy, you shouldn't hear from Arrow Global. Of course, bankruptcies have some obvious downsides, mainly that some of your belongings may be sold to pay for your debt and your credit score will become very low. Paying back your debts, whether in full or using a method I mentioned earlier, will ensure you keep Arrow Global at bay. Unfortunately, you can't just ignore them. They're likely to be persistent, which could make matters a lot worse. Arrow Global can take court action against you if you ignore their letters. This could lead to a county court judgment, which will have a really negative impact on your credit rating, making it tough to get credit cards, loans, mortgages. If you don't pay your judgment, bailiffs could come to your house. Luckily, it doesn't have to get that far if you are now. One simple step you could take today is to find out if any of the debt solutions that I mentioned could work for you. In the description of this video, I've linked to a form on my new website. It's got a few multiple choice questions like, how much debt do you owe? And how many people do you owe? At the end of the form, it'll connect you to a company who I've partnered with to provide you with all the information you need about debt solutions that are available. Click the link in the description, go and check it out and let me know how you get on.